Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is beta alanine. Um, I've used this a couple times on the label. It says uh, increases strength and power, boost muscular endurance, train with greater intensity. Don't know about those things. Um, I much feel that like most um, lifters, nutritionists, uh, PhDs would agree um, using uh, this is probably, you know, not a, let's just start with it tingles. Um, I use other things that work a lot better. Creatine works a lot better. Um, I, you know, it's really annoying the tingling feeling and I don't really get any, uh, you know, boost out of it. So this is supposed to take this, let's see what it says. Beta alanine, this is WebMD. Beta alanine is non-essential amino acid that's produced naturally in the body. Beta alanine ad, uh, aids in the production of carnosine as a compound that plays a role in muscle endurance and high intensity exercise. So we just got a video before about carnosine and not once did I see anywhere mention that. So that's kind of suspect and kind of weird. Uh, because if it's increasing um, carnosine, and carnosine helps with high intensity exercise, which I didn't notice from either one, by the way, um, why didn't they write that in the carnosine, it, you know, benefits? Okay, let's go to examine. It says beta alanine is a building block of carnosine, a molecule that helps buffer acid in the muscles. Okay, so that should help you work out longer. There's other things that do that too, by the way. Um, increasing physical performance in the 60 to 242nd range. So, like sprinting for a long time, like 200, 300 meters? 400, yeah. Uh, swimming, yeah. Beta alanine can aid in lean mass gain. Carnosine appears to be an antioxidant and anti aging compound. So, first it talks about beta alanine and then it goes into carnosine. So I'm not really sure how you want to interpret that, um, you know, because sometimes um, nutrition and physiology doesn't make sense. Like if you take this and it's a precursor for that, it should increase that. But sometimes it doesn't work that way, not in the human body. At least we haven't figured it out yet. Um, there's very high consistency of studies saying there's a minor in muscular endurance. I'll try it again and I'll do an update. But when I tried it before, I just got tingly feeling and I just didn't like that. I got it in like my fingers. Fatigue goes down, uh, anaerobic running capacity goes up, uh, body fat comes down. There's some very high studies, very high uh, consistency in studies of that. Lean mass goes up minor. Um, so you can take, you know, what you will. If you like it, if it works for you, I think you should try it and use it. Also, I think that, um, you know, like carnosine, carnitine, and I'll talk about this in the carnitine video I'm making next. Um, I think if you're deficient in these things, that's when you really feel it. Um, it's like when you're doing creatine, you know, when you first try creatine, you like this, it gets this really big pump and you feel a lot stronger. And then suddenly it just kind of flattens out because you've, you've saturated your muscles. You know, it takes like three or four days or something like that to get full saturation. Um, you know, so there's not much benefit, more benefit after that. You, you know, you do more, it's not going to help. So there's diminishing returns on that. Uh, anyway, so that is my opinion about that. I don't like it because it's not a very comfortable compound. I'll try using it again. If I have any updates, I'll let you know in other videos. So please keep watching the other videos too, because they will be helpful for you. Um, you might catch something. Um, I like to put them in my update videos, but sometimes I'll slip them into here too like I'm doing right now. So if you like the video and it's helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends. I will see you guys next week.